Hello everyone, this is the music video for my new song, Liars Like You, and surprise, I can ice skate. Yeah, I used to be an ice skater and I've kept this a secret my entire music career because I've always dreamed of one day making a music video where I'm ice skating. It was actually a huge, huge part of my life and I'm really excited that I can now talk about it and share it with you because so much of who I am, I feel, comes from the career that I had as an ice skater and the lessons that I learned through it. So today I'm going to take you through that backstory and kind of tell you how I began as an ice skater and the journey that I went on through it. And there will be a part two and part three to this video where I will show you the training that I have been doing over the last five, six months for the music video and also the behind the scenes of the actual shoot day. So this story begins when I was six. I used to rollerblade around our kitchen in my mum's roller skates, which were way too big for me. And one day my mum said would you like to try ice skating I said yes we went to group lessons on a Saturday me and my mum started learning together and it was just a fun little hobby but it kind of quickly turned into something else I started having private lessons I then started competing the first competition I ever competed at was at Alexandra Palace in London and I actually won that competition which was amazing and it just developed from there I kept having lessons I was doing bigger competitions I was learning bigger jumps and better spins and progressing as an ice skater and developing it taught me so much about hard work and determination it gave me a really good work ethic I also have amazing balance <laughs> I've always had amazing balance even when I stopped ice skating and I really feel like a lot of my ability in music to pick myself up when things have gone wrong for me comes from the lessons I learned as an ice skater because you literally do fall over on jumps and you hurt yourself and you're in pain but you still have to pick up and try again uh, and that is yeah very metaphorical for what happens in life. I also was part of three synchronized ice skating teams we were called the white diamonds the white crystals and Oh, white sparkles and I was in three teams I was in the senior team the intermediate team and the juvenile team and I was actually captain of one team we were British champions Scottish champions we competed in Switzerland we competed in Russia I had so many opportunities and experiences with my team that were just amazing things to get to do as a child but the work for it all was really intense. I was getting up at 5 a.m. My mum would take me to the ice rink before school. I would skate for a couple hours. I would train my solo figure skating and I would also train with my synchronized skating teams. I would skate and then I would go to school I'd finish my day at school. I'd then go back to the ice rink, do more training or do off ice and then get home around 8 p.m., eat my dinner, do my homework and do the same thing the next day. And it was really taxing. And it got to the age where I was about 14. I was starting my GCSEs and I actually began writing music and starting to play guitar at 14. And doing that made me realize that my real passion in life was songwriting. You know, I didn't have aspirations of being an Olympic figure skater and I wasn't about to go through the process that you have to go through to do that and so I decided to give up ice skating and put all my effort into pursuing music and now I am here pursuing music and getting to do ice skating so it was an amazing journey for me getting to be an ice skater and all the opportunities that it afforded me I feel very lucky and blessed to have been able to do this and to have had the experiences I had and be a part of a team it also made me very amazing at Mario Kart because whenever me and my teammates would travel anywhere we would play Mario Kart against one another and that's kind of the story it was a big part of my life that I now get to share with you and I'm really excited go watch part two to find out all the training that went into making this music video I had to relearn how to ice skate and pick it up from having not done it for 14 or so years and I hope you guys enjoyed learning this little bit about me that you never have known before.